So what you're seeing right here is just a time lapse of the functionality I've added to the editor, which will allow me to create structures ahead of time for destruction uh, in play mode. So I'm just building a quick house that we'll get to destroy in just a minute. So here we have our procedural building in play mode. Before we get started with the destruction, I did just want to note that this is one complete mesh. Uh, any aliasing that you may or may not see around blocks is really just texture artifacting, because I really only took like 10 minutes to create all of the textures, so they're pretty ugly. All the visuals here aren't the best. It's not really indicative of whatever game or application of this code that I'm working towards. So anyway, we can finally get started in the destruction. So let's just pop those blocks off there. and. What you'll see are a bunch of physical cubes that were created to represent the voxels that we removed, and also the mesh was updated accordingly. So the entire house will also crumble to the ground if we were to remove each supporting block, like so. So let's just go ahead and do that around the base. And there we go. The entire house crumbles down, so no floaty island bits of mesh like you would see in Minecraft. The voxels that were not connected to the ground were removed, and physical blocks were created at their locations. So this is pretty cool, but in the future I want to add functionality that will allow you to literally cut the mesh in half, wherein another chunk is added with the data of a particular region that will also be further divisible rather than just creating a bunch of physical cubes, right? And then maybe if that chunk hit the ground a little too hard, it would shatter into a bunch of cubes. That would definitely be cool. Think a big chandelier hitting the ground and um, shattering after it hits the ground. That would definitely be cool. So currently, a big limitation with what I've got right now is that it's limited to a single mesh of just 32 by 32 by 32 blocks. So nothing larger than that can be built or destroyed, but in the future I definitely want to add multi-mesh support so that you could theoretically destroy enormous structures in this manner that span dozens of chunks. As a final note, I do intend to add VR support to this, but right now my goals are just to further optimize and bug fix what I've got here. So thanks for watching, and hopefully, if all goes well, I'll post more updates on the channel pertaining to what you saw here.